Welcome back to Life Signatures Radio. This is episode number 1128. We are talking in this series about the most liberating change that we can be able to make. That liberating change that we can be able to make is nothing else but selflessness. In uh, the past three or so episodes, we've been talking about what that does to you. So if you're joining us for the very first time in this uh, series or on this podcast, this is a daily podcast where we talk daily about purpose, productivity, and resilience. And every Wednesday, we have a conversation with people who are visionaries in those areas of purpose, productivity, and resilience. And today, I want us to add one more advantage that accrues to you and I when we are living a life of selflessness. We are deep in this series and we're going to continue. We have several more episodes to come up, maybe five or so, even as we continue delving into this. But today, let us look at one more advantage of selflessness. Stay tuned. Welcome to the Life Signatures Podcast with Lawrence Namale. Lawrence is a life coach, author, and keynote speaker who loves to tackle different topics on purpose, productivity, and resilience. His mission in life is to awaken all your boundless possibilities available in you. Life Signatures Podcast is dedicated to bring to reality every single person who knows that deep down in their gut, there's got to be more to life than this. And now, here is your host, Lawrence Namale. Life Signatures episodes are brought to you by AfricanBooks.com, which is an online ebook platform that seeks to broadcast the African Christian voice to the world. As such, they have become a hub for African content, connecting African writers and publishers with a global reading audience. Publishing your books on their site is free and easy, with authors having full control over their content and the price they choose to sell at it. I was personally blown away by the concept that AfricanBooks.com is coming up with. Things like no content from their site or their app is going to be run on laptops so that people can easily copy. In other words, your content as a writer is restricted from digital multiplication or digital copying. So you remain intact with your information. Another concept that I got so blown away with was the fact that in some time to come, in due course, AfricanBooks.com will be starting to announce African Writer of the Year. In other words, there will be competitions in all African countries to figure out who is the best published author. And I also fell in love with the fact that countries can actually compete against each other. You can have African authors going at it after each other. And your book as an author will be reviewed and have some stars and recommended upon that particular platform. The thing is that it's an answer to Amazon.com. You know, with Amazon, what happens? You've got to have an account in the Americas or whatever, or in Europe before you can get paid as an author. But here, the local currency is in play and the local means of getting paid are in play. So to get started, go to AfricanBooks.com as an author or as a publisher and even as a reader if you wanted to read your African favorite authors. Enjoy! So if by chance these episodes that you're listening to on this podcast, they are helping you, they are blessing you, they are motivating you, inspiring you, or instructing you one way or another, it means that 
someone else can also receive the same help and guess what that someone else is within your vicinity maybe it's your mother it's your father it's your brother your sister your colleague at work your club mate and so on do them a favor by sharing these episodes with them and uh, let them be blessed also if i am to continue with the episodes and uh, with the series let me do a small recap for you we are talking about the advantages of being selfless number one there is a life of fulfillment which you can accrue which you can get from the previous episodes number two there is a life of contribution and uh, if you're living a life of contribution you are basically being human because we were created to contribute the reason as to why we are here on the face of the earth is so that we can be able to offer our substance and our time and our contribution and make this world a much much better place than we found it the third thing which we spoke about yesterday that helps you when you are selfless is simply this you get to to have freedom freedom is something that we discussed yesterday so you can review episode number 1100 27 and learn what kind of freedom we're talking about and how you can be able to prison break from imprisonment. Today in the episode let us talk about the fourth thing that accrues to you when you are living a life of selflessness. It is spiritual depth. Let me explain. Spiritual depth is what you get when you're living a life of selflessness. And I will also say that the height of any success What is the point by the way? Have you ever asked yourself what is the point of success? What is the point of uh, being the most successful human being this world has ever seen? I would always say that the height of any success is being able to contribute positively to others. It is about others. At the end of the day, it is about others. Life at the end of the day is not about you. I know it sounds paradoxical. I know it sounds like it's a you know living a miserly kind of a, a, a existence that's not what i'm talking about you should prosper you should thrive you should enjoy life but the end result the end result the meaning of life the purpose of life is not for you you are living so that this world can be better maybe a human being can be impacted someone else can be impacted the one word i can use for the meaning of life is simply this others it is about others what we call success is futile if you will you know just do it for yourself if you just go for yourself and all you're doing is me 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 you know like uh, a pastor normally says that uh, all you do is uh, get all you can can all you get and sit on the can <laughs> it is a meaning meaningless thing the so called success is futile and you will know it you will know it on your deathbed we are told uh, very many people in fact there's a doctor i had talking one day is a pastor doctor of sorts and he said that he's seen very many people dying there are two types of people the first one is the one that is fighting death like a man fighting bees and the second one is the one that is ready to go cheerful with a smile on their face welcoming death what's the difference the difference is in one who was in my opinion selfless and they lived for others and they were fulfilled in this life and the second one was the guy who has so much to give they are must very many things maybe their time they treasure their talent and they're going back to the grave not going back to the grave going back where they came from with that you see so it is a useless kind of a life when you are selfish going back to the grave with everything in fact the bible tells us that we came here naked and we we'll go back naked it says that we will take nothing from this world to the grave see selflessness does not care how much you have or how much you do not have anyone can be selfless it is is the degree that varies is the amount of zeros some people their degree of selflessness is 10 another one is 2 zeros another one is 3 another one is 4 5 6 whatever but it it's this si unit i mean the standard is selflessness anyone can be selfless and those who choose to be 
They are the deepest, most spiritual people you ever met. Selflessness is not about religion. It's about humanity. And humanity is not about things that are tangible. Humanity is about the intangible. The intangible comes from the selflessness that we have, the contribution that we can be able to create. So if you wanted to find a deep person, let me tell you, a deep person is not a guy who has studied the Bible from cover to cover and has all the scriptures. You know, even the devil, we are told, he, 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 he quotes scripture, right? A deep person is not the guy who knows knowledge, who has a lot of knowledge and a lot of wisdom. No, knowledge, wisdom, understanding, revelation, all these things, they are a tool we use to become better in life by being selfless and contributing, making a contribution into this world. There is no point of you amassing all the knowledge in the world that you can amass and you are the most selfish person that this world has ever seen. There's no point. What's the point? What's the point of having all the knowledge and all the information and all the money and all the possessions when the next door neighbor is suffering? Why did you exist in the first place? Why are you holding the information, the knowledge, the education, the academia? Why are you holding the knowledge and all this data? What's the point? Depth in spirituality is not on knowing. It's not on observing some tenets. It's on making sure that you are making someone else's life better because you existed. Depth spiritually is about selflessness. When you sacrifice your time, your treasure, and your talent, you become deep spiritually. Therefore, you can find that a two-year-old is deeper spiritually, in my opinion, than a 40-year-old who has read the Bible cover to cover and can speak in tongues and can do many spiritual gymnastics. It is not about ceremony, brothers and sisters. Depth is not in spirituality. Depth spiritually is not about ceremony. It is about relationship. It's about impact. It's about transformation. It's about contribution. It's about making someone else's life better. That's depth spiritually. The Bible tells us true religion is taking care of the orphans and the widows. That's what true religion is. In other words, making a difference in someone else's life. That's what true religion and spirituality and depth spirituality is. Therefore, selflessness. If you are a self selfless person, guess what? You are deep spiritually. But if you are a selfish dude, guess what? Okay, you know what that is. Tomorrow we will uh, maybe do the last benefit that you get when you are selfless in this life. And uh, after that, we're going to talk about the practical ways of becoming selfless. It's going to be exciting. You want to stay tuned. But as of now, bye-bye. Thank you for listening to Life Signatures Radio. If you enjoyed today's show, subscribe to Life Signatures Radio on iTunes, Stitcher, or visit our website at lifesignatures.libsyn.com. Life Signatures Radio, fresh, clean, and inspiring.